Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 20th, the 20th, the 20th into the 21st, so for the uh, solar eclipse, the full moon solar eclipse, the 20th to the 21st. I think I'm going to do two readings since I, I took the day off yesterday, and um yeah, so I think I'm gonna I may probably just do two with two different decks, see if we get any different messages. You know, this reading might be for you and the next one may not be, or vice versa. Okay. This is for whoever it resonates for. We're gonna see what because you know, everybody's at different levels. Some people are not going to um resonate with this reading. So just keep that in mind. Anyway, let's see what comes up. We're going to get one of these. This is just an overall energy. We're going to see what comes up. Then we're going to use that deck right there. What do we got? What do we got for your today, tonight, tomorrow, the next day? <laughs> Starting at zero. At zero for real. Fresh start. I mean, this is the perfect card. Because this is this is what the eclipse does. It comes in, the full moon, and it, and it cleanses out the baggage that, that you have been holding on to that's been inhibiting you from starting fresh. This is starting at zero, leaving the past behind. I'm not kidding. Because the only thing the fool brings is very, 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 very little. All, all, only thing he really brings is um, maybe some of the life lessons from the last hurrah. Okay? Starting at zero. I mean zero. Zeros before one. Zero. New, new you. New life, new beginning, new way. This can even be, uh, if you're in a relationship now, it could be starting at zero, starting completely over. Fresh start, new beginning. Lovers on the bottom of the deck again. We had that last time. Love heals. Somebody could be making an unexpected choice in love with that lover's card. All of a sudden, they got some epiphany. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Somebody has to make a choice about love. That's what I mean. That's what the lover's card is, right? You gotta make the choice about love. You gotta. You have an option, you gotta make it, you gotta choose. We have two people that are meant to be. Okay, this is a meant to be connection. It's a connection like no other. There is an opportunity for a fresh start here. But this is also a card of consequences. Okay, there's consequences for the choices that you make. And this is the, this is a card of consequences. Somebody needs to reevaluate their choice in regards to love. And that's what's going on here. There is an opportunity to start at zero. There is. But remember, you can't bring the past to start at zero. That means you got to let go of all that past bullshit. We're going to start over, that kind of thing. We are going to start over with, the, with everything, you know. I'm going to start at the very, very, very beginning again. That's what this is. If somebody is making the choice in the process. Six is a reevaluation. Somebody is in the process of reevaluating their choices in regards to love. And this can be starting over on a new journey by yourself. It's like I'm going to go by myself and find my perfect match because this is a perfect match. This can also be two people coming together and starting over that have been together before. I mean, starting at zero, we're just going to start at zero. We're going to start over and see what happens. Pretend none of that happened. 
I mean, that can certainly be the case with this card. And now you can't pretend, but with the fool, you, this is like you can't bring it with you. You can't. To start over fresh at zero, you cannot bring that shit with you. Period. Somebody's in the process of making a decision in regards to a commitment, you know, and a soulmate connection. Somebody could be deciding to go their own way, go in a different direction, you know. This is a new direction. No, oh, absolutely. Dropping the baggage, going in a new direction. I mean, I, they love they, they, they love it. They do. They love me. They love you too. But, you know, this is dropping the baggage, dropping the past, dropping the burden, dropping it completely because it's an opportunity for a new beginning, a massive one, something big. Big, 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 big. Now, we have the first card to the last card. You got to see what's right underneath, okay? This is one phase is over. Who you used to be is no more. It's over. You can't carry it anymore. You know, whatever you've held on to for so long that was overwhelming, that was killing you, that was stressing you out, that was totally uncalled for is being dropped. It's, it's, it's being let go of. It is. Because uh, somebody has learned a lesson by holding on to too much. Lesson learned. Somebody is literally traveling to a new destination and starting a new life. Somebody has learned a lesson about holding on to stuff that doesn't serve them. And now they have a new opportunity. They have a new approach. It's like they have a new vision. It's like, I can't let myself get, get distracted by the, the burdens of the past. I can't, I can't hold on to that anymore. It looks to me like somebody has decided to go and get, just go in a different direction. You know, I got a better opportunity waiting for me. And I think that somebody is really excited about starting over. I see a little bit of excitement here. Try to stay focused. I know it's exciting, but you got to stay focused. You know, you got to follow through. You got to make sure that you have the ability to follow through. Coming out, coming out of uh, stagnation, coming out of rest, coming out of uh, hibernation. Yeah, newfound excitement, okay? Confidence. We definitely have somebody here that is ready to take a new approach. They have found the, the willpower within them. To definitely head out of a situation. They've learned something. Somebody has learned a, a, a lesson for sure. Now, this is on the end. This person, whoever is the one that's coming out of hibernation, is now feeling very confident and proud and has gained a lot of strength through isolation, perhaps. Ooh. Hey, man, standing up. No, getting unstuck, coming out of limbo. Seeing things differently. Really? Somebody's been enlightened, you know, they're seeing things differently. Oh, the truth, the raw truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. Oh my God, I can't even get over this shit. Oh my goodness, this is fantastic. Absolutely wonderful. Um, 
It looks like somebody may be communicating that they want to start over. They've learned some sort of lesson. That could be the case. Somebody, or they want to have a beginning with you. They want, they want to, they want you in the next phase of their life. Somebody may be communicating to you that, you know, they're they're ready. They're they they they're they're definitely ready. Somebody's been watching. Somebody's been watching. Somebody's been observing, and now it's like they have. They're really wanting a positive change, and they're gonna take steps to make it happen. This is this is fantastic. Okay, it really is because we have a completion, a major completion of one phase. A, a, a chapter has ended. Good luck is coming, okay? One chapter of your life has ended. A difficult chapter has. Something that was burdensome and overwhelming. Somebody, it's ending. It's like it's being cut out. It is. It's being cut out. It's like the power has been taken and somebody is... Awake. It's like somebody has woken up. And it looks like there's going to be some communication that comes through that probably makes somebody really, really happy. Okay? This is extreme happiness. Two people are going to come together. They are. I feel like... I feel like whatever is happening is bringing you, <sighs> you know, I keep thinking it's bringing, it's bringing two people together that are destiny. This is destiny. This is fate and destiny, but it's also a card of free will. Somebody is finding the power within themselves to change their destiny. We have a new suitor. This is a new suitor. So, or somebody. It could be somebody that you know. It could be somebody that's been watching you that is, has found the strength to just communicate. Whoever that is. Somebody could absolutely be communicating that. They want you in their life. This is right in the middle. They they want you as part of their future. You know, they want you. They want you. They want you. You're the one that makes them happy. Or they can see growth with you. Or they can see the happiness that you could bring them. Or they're seeing how happy they were. Because you always got to see what's mirroring each other. Somebody is realizing the happiness that can be had in a situation. Somebody's vibration has raised, you know, they've raised their vibration. There's a very uh, vibrant aura about this change. It's just like, it's a very positive change. Somebody has made a very positive change in their life after being conflicted for some time, sacrificing, wasting time. Somebody is waiting, they, maybe they realize that, that they've wasted a lot of time holding on to maybe a grudge or holding on to something that didn't serve them and they sacrificed their own happiness. Somebody did sacrifice their own happiness. And now they have like a new positive outlook. It's like I have this new outlook here and I'm ready. I'm ready to go after this new beginning. And it, you know, I feel like we definitely have somebody here that has a newfound desire to go after the happiness that they dream of. We're going to get some more cards. Brace yourself. Brace yourself because I feel like there's going to be some communication that you hear or comes in from somebody, obviously, that really changes everything. This changes everything. It changes your path. 
and takes you out of that period of emptiness, of loneliness. It does. It, it makes you feel alive again. Somebody is going to really start to feel alive again. It's like, oh, wow. It's like their whole vibration has changed and it's no longer darkness. It's light. I see the light. I am the light. Whoo. Oh, boy. Taking back the power. Taking back control before it's too late. Somebody else could be taking control. And somebody probably sees that if they don't take control, then somebody else is going to win. So it looks to me as though there is going to be perhaps a message that comes through that is full of love. And it is a welcome message. It's an exciting message. And... You know, you're probably going to have to be open to the possibilities. You know, be open to looking at something from a new perspective. Try to be optimistic here. Somebody wants to start a something new, a new relationship. They do. After... They have finally taken back control of their mind, of their thoughts. Maybe they had to deal with some sort of addiction. Maybe they realized that there was some sort of uh, addiction that was clouding their thoughts, clouding their mind. I don't know. Somebody has let go of a bad habit. That's for damn sure. And they've refound. They've refound themselves. And now they, now they know where love is. But this is going to be tough communication. It is going to be tough. I think this person is probably a little scared, whoever it is. This person is probably a little scared to communicate if they're dealing with this person because this person is pretty uh, ruthless. So, um, afraid that it's over, afraid that it's over. We have somebody here that really wants to change something. Probably that has already ended. This could be somebody from your past. I hate to say it. it could be somebody brand new though with the world, with the wheel in the world of the wheel in the world. It could be somebody brand new. It could be, but this is, this is a completion. It's over. So I think this is, and this is the change. I think that something has already ended and this person has seen the light. Somebody has seen the light and... <laughs> They want a new beginning. Somebody wants a new beginning. They want to they wanna start over. That's what this is. Oh, we have the Empress, of course. Whew. We have a new approach. Somebody is taking a new approach towards this person who is beautiful, kind, nurturing, caring, loving, uh, worthy. And this person knows their worth. And therefore, this person has called in happiness. She has so many options, and I think that whoever this person is sees it. They do. Take a look at this shit, okay? Observing, stalking, I see what's going on. We have some, uh, something that is, well... <laughs> I gotta take this back. I gotta take back control of this situation. Or it's really gonna be over. So anyway, 
I feel as though there's an opportunity for happiness here with a woman who doesn't settle, knows her worth, very experienced she's like not even invested anymore she's on the outskirts of this situation we have a woman that is no longer invested in in holding on at all it's like i have i'm not holding on i've taken back my power i know who i am and we have somebody that's been watching. And I think there's two people here. I think there's two people here. And this person knows that if he doesn't go get this person, this person's going to find, is already happy just as they are for one thing. And somebody else is going to take them by the hand. This person has found, this person has done a lot of healing. This person has a lot of confidence. This person is very proud and beautiful. Very beautiful. Very attractive. Okay? And it was like somebody has been watching and they want to take control of this situation before it's too late. So I think we, I think this is for a certain group of people, I don't know who, where somebody has, we have one counterpart that has been stuck for some time holding on to perhaps a grudge or something that didn't serve them, something stupid, right? Hanging on to something that was just <laughs> nuts. And now it's like they've had some sort of wake-up call. They've learned some sort of lesson, perhaps with this person. They could have been dealing with this person who was uh, bitter and whatever. And harsh. And that ended. And now they want to come back to you. I mean, that could certainly be the case. They want to have a fresh start with you. That could absolutely be the case. Either way, you're going to be called to look at this from a new perspective. There is no doubt. To be open to the possibilities because whoever this person is that is coming in with communication, they genuinely want to start over. They genuine, genuinely do not want to hold on to the past. They don't they want to start they want to start at zero, okay? And they are conflicted about, they're scared to communicate. They are scared to communicate. But are they going to communicate? That is the question. I feel like this person has really, really been enlightened, okay? They have. About their toxic behaviors. And now they, they're like, you know what, this, 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 this person's almost gone. She's not even looking at me anymore. Not even interested. She's out on the app. Not even interested. Completely healed from the pain. And this person sees that. So what's going to happen now? Is this person going to communicate? I mean, we have communication perhaps. I mean, but let's see. Is this person going to communicate how they feel? Yes or no? Hmm. You know? You never know. It doesn't look like it. It looks like this person is unstable, insecure, afraid. I mean, afraid of rejection. <laughs> afraid of it. Afraid of being turned down. But they realize that they still love. This is, I realize there's, st I do realize there's still love. So somebody realizes that they still love another person, but they're afraid. They're afraid to get turned down, but it looks like they want to go home, whoever it is. You have the ability to take back control of your life if you follow your heart to happiness.
Somebody is in the process of making the decision right now. The decision is being made. Somebody is realizing that they should have chosen another option and they want a new beginning. They've learned a lesson. They may have dealt with a person that stabbed them. And now they know, now they know that they want They want a real love relationship. But they really are worried. They're worried about it's too late. They are. They're worried that it's too late. They're worried that, you know, they're so focused on the loss, the hurt, that they probably don't even notice that there's still an opportunity there for love. There is. There's still, there's still an opportunity for love. There is. But perhaps they left in the past... And they're really afraid. They are afraid. They are afraid right here. They're afraid to be rejected. But there's an opportunity for justice. There's an opportunity to bring balance to the situation if somebody tells the truth. And acts with integrity. This was a karmic lesson. Somebody got involved with a person, perhaps, that was a karmic lesson. And now there's an opportunity to come back together with the love that they love. The love of their life. And they want to, but they're scared. There's an opportunity for victory and success if you do the noble thing, if you do the right thing. So it looks to me as though somebody is thinking about communicating and they're pro I mean they may actually communicate. There's there's a good chance this is decision being made. I'm going to communicate and start over and start over okay somebody is gonna start over they're gonna make that plea can we please start over what will your answer be be being this and all I mean what would the answer be up to you there's an opportunity to start over and I think this is with somebody that left you in the past they got involved with a karmic situation now they have woken up and all of a sudden they see your worth they see your beauty they see your kindness they see your soul And now they want to start over. So I don't know who this is for. Will it be accepted? There's an opportunity for happiness here. There is an opportunity for a lot of growth. There's an opportunity for the birth of a new life. Together. Love heals. Speak your truth. Be honest. About what your heart really wants. This woman is very wise and she knows all she wants is love I just want to be loved and that's what she she will settle for nothing left less if you come with a full heart there's a good chance she will she'll accept it if it's true true 
You come with the truth. You come with the truth. You don't lie. You come with the complete truth. I mean, she's very wise. She is forgiving. If she sees that there's still love. But all she wants is her happiness. And she'd be fine to do it on her own. If it's not worthy. She'll let it go if it's not worthy. So yeah, we have a fresh start here. Somebody is going to be starting at zero in the love department. This could be with somebody absolutely positively brand new. It could. Somebody knows this woman's worth and they want her. Somebody is going after this woman who knows her worth. She's not a chaser. She's not a player. She's the real deal. She's the whole package. And you can bet your ass that somebody wants her. So that's what's going on here. Somebody's going to go after the real deal. Because that's what their heart wants. It's a, somebody's going to follow their heart. They're going to communicate that I love you. So whatever. Good luck. I'm going to do another one. <laughs>